psychologist, Dr. Mara Carpell of Dr. Mara Carpell and Your Golden Years. I hope you enjoy this informative interview and many more to come on my program. All right, and joining us here in our Austin studio, the co-owner of Austin Yoga Tree, Jonathan Trowan is here to talk about finding peacefulness from inside and creating peacefulness in our world through yoga. Yes, and thank you for, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming here today. Of course. So maybe you can tell our listeners a little bit about your background. My background, well, I mean, some might call me a, a serial entrepreneur. I've had various companies. Um, I have a company now called Home Snacks. That's a, an organic snack company. And now we have our Austin Yoga Tree, our uh -huh. mindfulness retreat in the middle of the city. Um, and uh, even during my first businesses, uh, I was a part of that thought process of you just work hard, and then you'll be successful. And one day, it will all work out and you'll be happy. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, I had amazing times. Lots of great times, lots of wonderful people. Um, but that real happiness and joy always seemed a little elusive because it was, it was always over there. And, mm -hmm. and I never got there because as soon as I got here, there was always a, another there to go to. Um, and uh, one day I woke up and I said, I don't know if I like this anymore. Mm -hmm. So uh, I created a, a new philosophy and that was first I'm going to be happy. That is success and then I'm successful. And now I work hard, but it's because I'm happy and it's fun and all the work I do is pretty amazing. So then you went down a different path and you worked. Took a different path. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, really, what, what, what brought me here to Austin, uh, well, I wasn't pregnant, but my wife was. Uh -huh. So I, I say we were pregnant, even though she did all the work. <laughs> um, and, and back in Los Angeles, I, I, I started teaching. I mean, I had great successes in, in my life. And I'm like, well, how do, we sh how do we share how to do it? And how do we share how to do it peacefully? And, and yoga did become a part of my life that was following a surgery, had nothing to do with peace. I just wanted to move my arm again. It was a surgery, went bad. I did a year of physical therapy. They kicked me out of physical therapy and said, maybe yoga will help you. So I did yoga and suddenly realized that I started becoming calmer. Like I'm, I'm from the Northeast and we're very proud of our road yes, rage I and things like that. And I can beat you on the road. <laughs> and all of a sudden, road rage started going away. And like, but that's really weird. And then I wouldn't do yoga for a couple of weeks because it was at the beginning. I had other things to do. And then I'd get all irritated again and start yelling at people I worked with. Mm -hmm. and, huh. and I tried yoga again and go, oh, not only is my arm moving, am I getting more physically able after the surgery, but my mind was being calmer. And then, and then I started applying that to my work philosophy. Okay, how can we actually create a business that allows us to thrive? So instead of working our lives around everybody else, mm -hmm. let's create a life that we actually want to create. Mm -hmm. So when we came here, and even in Los Angeles, even as I was teaching this, I, I, I had a life coaching practice, life mastery, teaching people how to live just better lives. Happy, successful, and then it's just easy to work hard. It's not even working hard, even right. though that, that's what you're doing. And, but I was also driving around to a lot of different places so I could share the yoga side with people because that was my first entry into it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have understood that you could be happy if I didn't have that little entryway from yoga. That opened my mind first to, oh, there's just another possibility. And then I discovered what some of the wow. other possibilities okay. were. So when we came here, we said, you know what, instead of driving around everywhere, let's create our life. Mm -hmm. We built our own center, mm -hmm. invited other people to join us at that center. And um, it's just a beautiful experience. It's a whole different different game when you start creating your life instead of living everybody else's life. Yeah, I bet. I bet. So now let's talk about that peacefulness that you yeah. found in yoga. Um, you know, uh, it, it just so happened that it worked out for you to come today on September 11th. Mm -hmm. Where a lot of people are, you know, I've mentioned to you, I woke up just feeling sad this morning and I didn't yeah. even remember when I first woke up that it was September 11th. And I think I just felt everybody's sadness around. And there's 
so much chaos going on in the world right now. Every day yeah. you're watching it on the news. So how do we find that peacefulness inside us? How does yoga help us to feel peaceful in spite of that chaos around us? And, and how do we create more peace outside of us? Well, the first thing to understand is what you said. You said find it inside of us. The first step is to understand that it is inside of you. Because most people are looking for peacefulness outside of themselves. When this happens, when I get the job, when I get the car, when I get the house, or when he finally acts how he's supposed to act, or when she finally acts how she's supposed to act instead of driving me nuts every day, we want everybody else to change. Mm -hmm. And we think once that person or event or whatever it is, once that changes, then we will have that peacefulness. But we also all know that we've had a goal, we've wanted something, and we've gotten it. Everyone's achieved. And then maybe they feel happy for, I don't know, five minutes, maybe a week, maybe even a month or two months, but eventually that goes away because they're still looking outside of them. So the first step is just to understand that it is inside of you. Mm -hmm. And it's an, an understanding of if you're always thinking about the past or if you're always thinking about the future, where most of us do, we think about the past and good times we had that we want to repeat, nothing can ever be repeated. Even when you go, you had a great time on this trip, and now you're going to go to the same place. Mm -hmm. Well, it's never the same never the next the same. time, right? Mm -hmm. Or we think of everything in our lives that we screwed up, everything that we could have done differently. There's no peacefulness in the past. You'll never experience that. Or we think about the future, like we were talking about. I'll be happy when, I'll be happy when. Right. The only place you will ever experience peacefulness and joy is in the present moment can't do it in the past, you can't do it in the future. And what yoga does, what meditation does, is it simply brings you into the present moment. If you're here, you have a shot of experiencing peace. If you're there, past, future, no shot of experiencing peace. Mm -hmm. So the first step is just being present. And there are different aspects of it. There's yoga, which is uh, meditation in action. It's moving. Mm -hmm. there, there's watching your breath. It's also, you can do a washing dishes. If instead of while you're washing dishes, you're just thinking about when will this be done? Why are there more dishes? Right. And actually just be there with the water running over your hands and the soap sudsing. Mm -hmm. They've done the research. Um, if you are present in what you are doing, even if you don't like what you're doing, you are much happier than if you're just visioning good thoughts why you're doing it. Not that envisioning good things aren't important. It is, but when you do that, that's all you should be doing, is envisioning the future, creating the future, thoughts become things, that whole world. But if you're doing something you don't like, just be with it and experience mm -hmm. it. And okay. you'll find that there's peacefulness it's in that present peace. moment. Even if you don't like what you're doing. Even if you don't like it, because if you fight it, it just gets worse. You sit there for eight or ten hours a day fighting what you're doing, it's just going to be miserable. Mm -hmm. If you just take a breath and begin to surrender and go, okay, this is the present moment. Let's accept it. And only from that acceptance can you actually begin to create change. Right. Because how many people are just try and change, 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 and it doesn't change? Mm -hmm. Why? Because you've never accepted the present moment and you will not create lasting change. You'll create non-lasting change. You can do that. But you will not create lasting change unless you accept this moment as it is right now, with all the good and with all the bad. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, as a therapist, you know, um, I run up against resistance when I talk about accepting this moment because mm -hmm. most people who are coming in for a problem that they want to fix, right, they don't want to accept the present moment. That's why they come for help. Want yeah. to change. If I accept it, that that means that I don't want to change it. But that's not no. what I'm saying at all. No, it's the only way to change. Mm -hmm. And they come in because they think they're broken. They want to fix it, mm -hmm. but they're right. not broken. Right. There's nothing to fix. You can change, yes, but you'll only change when you begin to understand you're not broken. You're perfect just the way you are. Take a deep breath on that. Be peaceful just for a moment, even with all the gear, the it that you feel, and I just want this to change. Just be with it. And then, from that place of peacefulness, you can create change. You cannot create change from great resistance. Not change that lasts. Mm -hmm. So, what is 
So, and yoga is one of the ways of accepting the moment? Well, it brings you to the present moment. Mm -hmm. It allows you to experience the present moment. Um, because in some of these poses, you can't have your mind wandering. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can treat yoga as an exercise, and that's awesome. And if you're there just to get your workout and to sweat, that's great. And, but ultimately, yoga will just do its thing to your brain. It did it to me. I did not go to yoga for peacefulness. I went kicking and screaming. I used to go to punk rock shows every single night. That was my life. I was raging against the world. Everybody was against me. I was against everyone. And that was awesome. That's the way I was happy. Not really happy, but the way I thought I was happy living my life. Right. Um, and yoga forces you to be in the present moment. So even though you weren't going for peacefulness, you became peaceful by doing it. It did it. It did it <laughs> to me. Okay. And then I'm like, Huh. I mean, I don't know if I should be sharing this, but my, my first two yoga classes, horrible experiences. My third yoga class, I went to a different teacher, uh, changed my life, and at the end of it, I truly I felt stoned. I felt the same feeling I felt when I used to smoke pot. And I'm going, huh? You mean you can feel this good and not, not drink or use substances or anything like that? And I'll never say I, I quit anything, but I haven't smoked anything in years. I have an occasional drink once in a while with friends, um, but hardly ever. I drink water most of the time, and it's not because I quit, it's not because it's bad, it's just because those used to take me out of the present moment, which I didn't want to be in, and now I'm just, eh, present moment's pretty cool, I don't need anything to take me out of the present moment. Mm -hmm. And it can feel good if you have a practice like yoga, and there are others too, it's not the only one, um, but yeah, I felt that same calmness around my whole body. It was fascinating. It, and it is a drug. It is, there are chemicals. Yoga, fit, well, how you stand changes the chemicals that your, your body releases. I mean, they've done those studies at, at Harvard and, and all these mm -hmm. places. If, if you stand up straight, the chemicals released from your body are different. Mm -hmm. So now when you do back bends and forward bends and all these things, it changes the chemicals your, your glands are producing. So one of the classes that you, we already had one of your teachers here on the program, Jill White. Oh, she's here. amazing. She was talking about anxiety. She has a class for people who have anxiety. Yoga for, for anxiety, yoga for stress release. And, and she also has a, a, once a month, she brings in her gongs and we do a, a we call it a gong symphony. Yeah, I've gone to Oh my gongs. God! Those are amazing. Lie back there, and it's just like the layers that you don't even know you had are just peeling away, because we're vibrating beings. We're even we say be still. There's no such thing as stillness. You're vibrating all the time. So, what other kind of classes do you have over at Yoga Tree? We have Austin Yoga Tree. Austin Yoga Tree. We have we have a variety of yoga classes. I teach Iyengar Yoga. Um, we have vinyasa, flow classes, we have restorative classes, we also have mat pilates classes, we have bar classes, um, and we also have, which I'm really proud of, I believe we're the only yoga studio that has something like this that's included as a part of a, a membership package is our Life Mastery Group Coaching Classes, mm -hmm. which is, that's where we really get into your, your brain and rewire your brain so you can live your dream life not your parents' dream life that they wanted for you, and not what they taught you at school, and uh -huh. not what, what all the advertisers want you to believe you're not good enough, but if you get this, you will be good enough. So we rewire it from that, that what we were talking about at the beginning, from were, the equation of work equals success equals happy, to no, happy equals success equals great work and contribution to the world. And you mentioned to me that sometimes you help people that are not even in Austin. Yeah, I, we, we have the Life Mastery Group Coaching, and that takes place uh, the first Friday of every month at the studio. But obviously a lot of people need this work, and a lot of people aren't here in Austin. Um, and I do it one-on-one. -on -one. I do it one-on-one -on -one with people in Austin as well. Mm -hmm. um, because the group coaching, it's, it's truly powerful transformational work. I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe in it. And if you want to achieve your goal more quickly if you're not happy in your relationship if you're not happy in your career or you're looking to just start that business that you've had in your mind for 10 or 20 years now and you've just been too afraid to start it mm -hmm. well now is the time you can start it so i work with people one-on-one -on -one and we just transform their lives so they mm -hmm. can begin doing 
exactly what they want to do. You do not need to wait anymore to be happy. We start today and then we begin to create our life, we construct it. And do you have people that are, you know, when people think about starting a new career, they think of young people. Do you have people that are a little bit older? Absolutely. Oh, I have age? a lot of, well, it's, you know, it's about transitions. And it doesn't matter when you go through a transition, change is scary for anyone. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I certainly have some people that, that are younger looking to make those life changes, but I get a lot of people that are retired and, Again, it's great for the first month. Like, this is great. I don't have to show up. And then, then, then they're like, now what? what do I do with the rest mm -hmm. of my life? Because they're not contributing. They're not giving. And, and, and they haven't, even though they've worked hard, even though they've become successful in terms of monetary or things like that, or perhaps they didn't even though they worked hard, but now here they are. They did those two things and they're not happy. So how do we actually create happiness now from this moment? So I do. I work with a lot of retired people on, on how to construct the, this next chapter of, mm -hmm. of their lives. Okay, great. And I, you know, I've sent several vets over there. Yes. PTSD, Thank and you. I understand that you give veteran discounts? Of course, of course. We, we give discounts for teachers. We believe that is one of the most important professions in the world because those are the people that are teaching our children. And it would be wonderful if we start teaching this kind of stuff in the schools. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we can get it out to teachers, it will get out to the children. Um, uh, but certainly, you know, um, veterans and also active duty, right? Sometimes we, we focus on veterans, though those that, that have come back and we must, right. but there's a lot of active duty that come here for periods of time and there is peace, you know? It, it doesn't, everyone's gone through their own trauma and mm -hmm. some people's trauma has been worse than, uh, worse than others and certainly going through a war zone is a huge trauma. Um, having some sort of abusive relationship, huge trauma. I can't say that I have been through any of those types of trauma. But it doesn't matter what kind of life you leave. Every, everyone has their what they would call a trauma for mm -hmm. themselves, and we need to begin healing that. And mm -hmm. and you know how we treat the military when they come back. I gotta be honest; it just pisses me off. They they they, they go out there, they give everything for us, and then they come back here, and we're just not giving to them. So yes, we have we have our, our discounts. If you can't afford with the discount. Money will not, not stop anyone from ever walking into Austin Yoga Tree. We are open right. to everyone. We do believe if you can't afford it, contribute so the community supports, so that, that long beyond me, this is a community that continues to grow and support everyone. Um, and for those that can't, we are here for you too. So how can people find out more? Uh, well, our website is austinyogatree.com. Okay. So you can visit there. Our schedule is there. Our phone number is there. Um, if you're interested in one-on-one in -on -one coaching, you can also look, look at me personally at troen.net, T-R-O-E-N, and as in Nancy, .net, and that will talk about some uh, of the, the life mastery work, although Austin Yoga Tree also has the life mastery work okay. there. Great. Yeah. Well, I'm going to post all of that on my, on my uh, website as Wonderful. well. Wonderful. So people can go there. And I want to thank you so much for coming thank this you. evening. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you for sharing right. and, and helping others. And I'd love to have you back sometime. Would love that. Okay. So stick around. Um, we're going to take a brief break and we have more to come, so don't go anywhere.